Happy New Year! Hi guys, hello, Happy New Year! So by the time this video is coming out, it was already gonna be, yeah, it's already gonna be 2021. So Happy New Year's in advance. Today is actually New Year's Eve and I'm coming back to you with another vlog style get ready with me. Last one I did, you guys really, really enjoyed it. So I'm coming back to you guys with another one. This time it's featuring this wig. So this wig is from Original Queen Hair, I believe. So they sent me their straight 26 inches wig and I'm going to be transforming and doing a new year's look for you guys it's about two o'clock in the afternoon so i'm gonna start getting ready but i need to pull myself all the way together i need to wax my legs i need to wax my pits because i'm not going into 2021 with the hair that i've got on me right now it's not a pretty size okay yeah i also need to pluck the frontal ready to on the wig and then later on in the evening i'm going to actually take pictures with jamila dedicated to the cause okay i'm gonna be doing my hair with you guys i'm gonna be doing a bit of my makeup with you guys i'm not gonna be doing all of my makeup with you guys because i am filming a reel so i don't want that to get in the way okay so i've just finished quickly tidying up my room i'm just gonna make my bed and now we're gonna get on to waxing my legs and then afterwards i'm gonna pluck my front door and then have a shower so yeah let's go let's go a little further back so you guys can see me and my hairy disgusting legs also if i didn't already say if you're new here hi hello welcome my name is lisa don't forget to go ahead and click that subscribe button right now oh my head legs have been hairy for a long time i got a wax i can't remember the last time i got a wax actually so my hair has been growing out for way to okay i think it's stuck it's been growing up for way too long i usually do is just get my hair dryer and and put it on the actual strips to melt them because it's supposed to be hot basically and i'm just using these strips from Nair they're really cheap they're like one pound a packet they come with 12 wax strips and I actually get them from Poundland and oh there we go I don't even want to show you guys what's on this strip <laughs> let me just continue waxing oh child I really wish my sister wasn't at work because she would have just done all of this for me. Focusing on the hair defo because there's the style that I saw on um, Kylie Jenner. Also Cardi B. So I'm going to try and basically copy that style today. So I'll definitely be showing you guys um, the hair. I will be in and out of the makeup just because I want to film a reel. Hopefully, God willing, I have enough time. I'll just be showing you guys some new bits, some of my favourite bits that I'm using. 2021, we're going to have a snatched waist, okay? Like, I'm pretty happy with my body now. Like, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like, let me not be doing body dysmorphia. I'm pretty happy with my body, but I know it can be better. I want to be a lot more toned. And I'm not just talking about, I'm not talking about like, I want toned arms, I want, I want a toned belly. I just want to stop being so flabby, like flippy floppy. Like my belly, I want it to be toned. I do not want abs. I don't think that's attractive personally. I don't want abs. For what? What do I need abs for? I just want a flat belly. I want my arms to go down. I want a smaller waist. And I want my bum to be a bit perkier. And I know people are probably saying, like, Lisa, what do you need your bum to be perkier for? But that's just how I feel. So I'm going to be taking my fitness very seriously um, in 2021. Tomorrow. <laughs> Can you actually believe we're in 2021, guys? that actually 
crazy. This year has been an emotional roller coaster. Like, to Kylie Jenner, this year was the year of realizing things like the growth that came this year. Woo chat! Realized so much about myself, even towards the end of the year, like last week, two weeks ago. There's so much that I'm still learning and knowing about myself. That's the only thing that I can. Um, hope for 2021 is that I want to keep on growing I want to keep on evolving I want to keep on being the best version of myself that I can be I want to be a better friend I want to be a better daughter I want to be a better sister I want to be a better person I want to be a better girlfriend I just want to grow I want to grow in all all areas of my life okay i just want to be a better woman in every sense of the word that's literally it when i look back at some of the things that happened to me in 2020 i'm thinking like what the hell like but i'm not gonna lie to you a lot of what i went through was definitely self-inflicted as in like there were things that not that I did to myself, but situations that I put myself in, not situations that I found myself in. I had to learn how to, and I'm still trying, learn how to take accountability. You did this, you put yourself in this situation, nobody else, so you need to take accountability and you need to fix this and you need to control what you can control. That is what, to like start sitting down and thinking like, Lisa, like, is this the woman is this the kind of woman you want to be? Is this the kind of woman you want to, you want people to know you as? Like, girl, you gonna need a fix up. Did a lot of letting go, letting go of hurt, letting go of pain. And I found that when I did that, life was a lot better. I realized that I couldn't continue holding on to that hurt i couldn't continue holding on to that guilt and god this year kind of like forced me to wake up like no sweetie you cannot continue living in this um in this fantasy world you're gonna need to wake up i'm not even doing the whole new year new me thing and that's not to be like different you know those people who just want to be different for the sake of being different i hate people like that twitter is full of people like that um but it's just in terms of um i want i don't want to be different i just want to continue growing because i like where i am now in terms of how far i come so i don't want to be a new me because i feel like this is a good foundation but i want to make that foundation stronger or i want to continuously make that foundation stronger and just really blossom and become the woman that god wants me to be because she's in there somewhere guys she's just afraid to come out so a lot of people really have no goals for 2021 apart from others just to be healthy and happy and when i say guys i do not blame you as well that is like one of my goals as well because this year hmm, god really showed you the definition of life is not promise as well as life not being promised like you can think you have your whole life ahead of you like your whole life sorted this is gonna go like this and then after this i'm gonna do this and god will just come and be like uh no sorry that's not the way i want it to go so that's a no from me and boom what you gonna do what you gonna do i learned a lot this year how to roll with the punches i definitely used to be the type of babe that one thing will go wrong and i'll have one bad day and it's like all of a sudden it's a bad life one thing goes wrong and the day is just ruined and i'm just hopeless like i don't know what to do like one thing can go wrong i get knocked back and i just won't stand back up i definitely used to be that type of girl and i learned this year that that is not gonna work anymore lisa like because you need to understand 
understand that nobody is else is going to get this shit done apart from you nobody can make the life that you want to live apart from you i have so many expectations for my life and for myself and how i want my life to be and that i just hope to dear god that i live up to them because i want this and i want this and i want that Am I capable of doing these things? How can I be capable of doing these things when every single time something goes wrong, I'm just like, whoa, is me. I just want to lay here and do nothing and just die. Like, I'm just very sensitive. Like, a lot of things get to me. Get a grip. I learned this year how to get a grip. Like, honestly, that as harsh as it sounds, stop crying. Stop, like, wallowing in your sadness. Get up and do the things you need to do and stop letting life do you. Like, <laughs> literally, guys. I, how that actually hurt. Something's not going your way. Okay, cool. So how can we fix it? What is the solution? What are we going to do? This didn't go to plan. Okay, so Lisa what's the next step plan b what are we gonna do and you'll find that plan b is never really plan b um it's your plan b but it's not god's plan b it's god's plan a it's god's plan what he actually wanted to happen but you obviously had all of these ideas of how you wanted things to go and just sometimes it doesn't work out like that Why is my hair dry stop working? Well, I'm going to finish waxing my legs and then I'm going to do my pits and then I'll get back with you guys. Also going to pluck my frontal, I forgot about that. Um, I finished waxing my legs. I'm going to start plucking this frontal now. I put a face mask on. I just put my Kills Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. I absolutely love this mask. And who wants to go into the new year with terrible skin? I don't. Although, admittedly, I'm not going to lie to you. I have not been looking after my skin the past couple of days. Because I actually had to self-isolate because... I thought I had corona. I didn't have symptoms, but I'd come into contact with somebody who had corona. So I had to go and take a test. And until I got my results back, obviously I had to self-isolate. So I'm not gonna lie, beginning of this week, I was down in the dumps. I was not happy. I was not in the mood. I'm just gonna pluck this frontal quickly. You saw that in my last video my last get ready with me so you don't need to see the next one so yeah that's what i'm gonna do and then i'll sit back down with you guys when um i start to do my hair i've gone ahead i've had my shower i have oiled myself up i've you know got rid of the hair on my pits my skincare routine so we're gonna get started with the hair god willing it comes out right because really and truly that the hair should take the longest to do like i said this is a uh, a lace frontal wig and it's from original queen hair so shout out to original queen hair for sponsoring this video so this is a 26 inch lace straight lace wig so yeah hopefully this style comes out nice so far so good um obviously it's transparent lace and the lace looks really it looks like it's really good as well so i'm hoping this look comes out fire what I'll do is cut the lace to my head and glue ow glue it down I'm just gonna cut, 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 cut. So I don't know whether to use this olive oil spray. So this is basically like got to be, but not got to be. And everybody says it's really good. So you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try it. So the hair that I put to the side, I'm just gonna try and make it as thin as possible. What I'm gonna do is just take my this comb, so it basically like thins out 
your hair so one side cuts and one side thins and because i want this bit to like lay really flat and then i'm just gonna quickly create some edges i didn't really pluck this frontal as much as other frontals because i find that when you do that your frontals really don't be lasting you that long at all i'm gonna do like a half up half down just so the hair lays properly it's supposed to be like really messy basically it's not supposed to be neat so now i don't know whether to like curl it at the end like that or actually get my pump it um pump it gold styling spritz and just i use this in my last thing to do my sweep and just place that on the top like so i actually feel like i look like an auntie is it just me I like this swoop to be a bit deeper but i actually think it's really cute okay so now we're gonna get into the makeup like i said i'm not gonna talk about the makeup too tough um just because i'm pretty much repeating what i did in my last get ready with me so i'm gonna go in and out and show you guys new bits that i'm using so i've gone in and i've actually i've started doing my eyes so i've actually gone in with the makeup revolution eyeshadow palette so i don't know what this is called but how gorgeous so some shimmer shades some matte shades and um, this actually doesn't have a name but it's just very very gorgeous gone ahead and i've done this i have put on my lashes done my winged liner so now i'm gonna show you guys um the other eye i actually really wanted to try this so i've just gone ahead and used that like blue silvery shade on my lid just for like a really like gorgeous new year's look so i'm gonna show you guys how i achieved what is on that lid i put my lashes on my liner on as well so i'm actually gonna go in with my hula um caramel bronzer so gonna focus and i'm going to put that as a transition color so i'm just gonna do i got a clip over the lid like so and now we've got the base sun we're gonna go in to my huda beauty topaz palette topaz obsession and we're gonna go into that dark brown color at the bottom just to give this eyeshadow look some depth and we're just gonna use that as a crease color i didn't want to do a brown or any of those colors because i always do that i always do a gold i always do a brown I always do a matte i always keep it like really neutral so new year some new eyeshadow looks okay and as you can see i didn't finish off my brow i didn't see the point because my hair is going to be like that so just really want to deepen this crease the piece de resistance that was a really rubbish accent um i'm gonna go in with this blue shade right here um it doesn't have any names i think it's just one so i'm just gonna use my finger with shimmer shades using your finger usually is always so much better um and i'm just gonna pack that all over my lid like so and it's just a really pretty color especially for makeup revolution 
because makeup revolution i'm not gonna lie i don't usually like their eyeshadows i feel like their eyeshadows can be a little bit um chalky and powdery and not very nice i usually like their face product obviously i've got a lot of fallout here but that is to be expected with such a shimmery color i'm just a little bit more on okay that's gorgeous my ico black magic liquid liner i hope you guys can see i'm just gonna create a wing a line I've actually just gone and doubled the lash for a bit more of a dramatic look i've actually worn these before but not doubled and they're like really nice Okay, so we gorge. And then just apply the lashes. Of course, I'm gonna go into my Bobbi Brown, Bobbi Brown face base. That's a bit too much. And just rub that all over my face like so done my bobby brown now i'm gonna go into my huda beauty water jelly primer and i absolutely love this primer i'm gonna go in my laura mercier foundation in the color pecan after which i'm gonna go in with my Too faced concealer holy grail guys please recommend me good concealers i've heard that the hourglass concealer is good is that true or not nah? But yes, I'm going to go in my Too Faced Concealer in the shade Cookie. So let's get doing that. I'm actually using a new powder and it's the Chanel Poudre Universal Libre. The Natural Finish Loose Powder, basically. That's what it is. And I have this in the colour 30. So my sister actually... Um, bought me this for christmas and guys i'm so amazed like it's so gorgeous can you guys see that oh i love how my under eyes look oh my gosh then i'm going to use my shop chem beauty lip gloss in butterscotch i just feel like it'll complement the look really nicely and I actually love this lip gloss. It's just like the right nude colour. Obviously going to coat my bottom lashes with my mascara. So I'm going to go do that and then come back when I've got my outfit on. What do we think of the look? This is the finished look. What are we thinking? I'm really, really like it. I just FaceTimed Jamila and she said she really likes it. So... I guess I did a good job. I'm gonna go put on my dress. So this dress is actually from Pretty Little Thing. I will link it down below. I've seen all the Insta baddies wearing this dress, so I thought, am I not an Insta baddie? Watch out. Back so you can see. I mean, you can't see all the way down, but almost. So I'm gonna get some tape just to hold this up tape is actually from pretty little thing pretty little thing was my one-stop shop it's gonna cut some like this okay guys can you see the difference up down okay so this is the finished look i'm gonna show you guys my heels so i picked up and bought these bad b heels from public desire i will also link them down below I absolutely love these heels i've had my eye on them for like a couple of weeks now they're like the stripper heel you know definition of a bad b heel and am i not a bad b i'm gonna carry my balenciaga hourglass bag and this is the reason why i got the extra small because i wanted to be able to carry it as an evening bag and a daytime bag i feel like the small which is the size up from this is you i don't think you can carry it as a evening bag anyway but i'm also just wearing my Kristen dior bracelet i'm gonna put some rings on as well what do we think what do we think 
what do you think i really hope you guys enjoyed this um thank you to original queen hair for sponsoring this video i really 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 hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me happy new year we're finally in 2021 that sounds so weird if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please don't forget to go ahead and click that subscribe button we're almost at 50k don't forget to put on your bell notifications for my videos so you do not miss the video um i will link everything that i used makeup and hair and dress all in the description box down below so do not forget to check that out um if you like this video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and yeah that is pretty much it I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.